Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's having a good day. Today I want to show you guys how to make a monster gas mask just like this one. It's not going to take very long and you're only going to need two monster cans. The ones I'll be using today are going to be these two. So I'm going to be doing a rehab mask. Here's the cans I'm going to be. So let's head over to the couch and I'll show you guys how to do it. Alright guys, so here we are on the couch. This is the mask we're going to be making. All right, and the materials you're going to need, your two monster cans. You're also gonna need just a regular paper mask, hockey gun, bunch of glue sticks. You're also gonna want some scotch tape and some scissors. It's always good to have a utility knife or some sharp knife to cut with nearby for when we're cutting the cans. And the way so. we're gonna wanna do this is cut right below the rehab right here. And we're also gonna cut off everything right above the monster logo on both cans. Just gonna wanna stab right there and just stab it right through. Go nice and easy. Okay. And then you're just gonna keep cutting all the way around until you get it off. Okay, as you can see, we've cut the top part off. We're gonna to wanna to set this off to the side and don't worry about it being all crazy looking because we're gonna fix that later on. But this piece is gonna be very important. So go ahead and set that off to the side. And now we're going to want to cut right around here. And as you can see, we've successfully cut that part off. So now that we're down to this piece, what we're gonna wanna do is fold this all the way down under the monster logo, and I'll show you what I mean when I start doing it. By the time you're done, you should end up with something like this. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut up your second can exactly the same way, and then do the same thing with the bottom part. And then we'll move on after that. All right guys, so now that all the cutting up is done, we're gonna take both of these pieces here, and we're gonna go ahead and cut here, and we're also gonna cut here on both cans.
Okay guys, now that you have cut both of these in half, we're gonna go ahead and keep our focus on these two, all right? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the one that you like less, which for me is gonna be this one, and we're just gonna go ahead and cut right along here. This is gonna be the top part of the mask, right around here. All right, and do not lose this piece. This piece will be very important later. Now I want you to take these two, and on the right side of the mask, I'm going to cut approximately about an inch worth off right here. Okay, and before you start going all straight, make sure you curve right at the last seconds. If we need to make it smaller, we can always do that later on. Or we're going to want to do the same thing on the other one. And once you're done doing that, you should be left to something like this. This is going, these are going to be the sides of your mask. Alright. So now we're going to take this middle piece and we're going to go ahead and just fix the top as much as you can. And then we're going to start assembling the main part of the mask. Okay, and then you want to grab this piece. And we're basically just going to attach them like this. And this is where we're going to need the scotch tape. You should have something like this now. And if you're at this point, then you're on track. Now we're going to want to take the side pieces and we're going to want to attach that to the mask. By the time you've done all this, you should be left with something like this. We can go ahead and put this aside and start working on these parts of the mask. So now we're going to set our focus on these two guys and we're just going to want to cut all of this off. Once you cut them off, you should be left with something like this. Also be sure that you break these off. If the camera would focus on it. Break these off. We don't want these. Just like that. What we're gonna wanna do is we're basically just gonna want to super glue this here like this. So this is where you're gonna need super glue. see the first one is attached you just want to do the same thing with the other one and then we'll continue assembling now they're both super glued we're just gonna to want to let these dry and sit off to the side let's go ahead and do a little more to the mask here and we're gonna make a little slit at the bottom right in the middle right there and then the same thing right here on the top. Bam, tiny little slit. And we're just gonna go ahead and make that slit fold in on itself. And then we're gonna hot glue that on the inside.
successfully and folded it on itself. And we're just gonna do the same thing right here at the top. But before we do that, let's go ahead and reinforce the areas that the tape is holding. So instead of taking it off, what I like to do is just put hot glue right where the seams are at and right where the tape ends. Alright guys, by the time you're done reinforcing your mask, it should look something a little bit like this in the front, and a little bit something like this in the back, and we're going to go ahead and start working on gluing these guys on, so let's go ahead and start doing that. that you should be left with something like this I think this looks absolutely awesome we just need to bend a few more parts and glue the mask on so now that we're at this point we're gonna want to go ahead and just bend these two edges down so that way it just kind of goes along with the design here and if you just bend it along like that on both sides you should get a pretty cool look You should see that you have a little nose piece there. Now, this part's optional, but I'm going to just kind of reinforce that and make that stick there by just kind of gluing those folds down. And as you can see, that is now reinforced. Ah, I just put my finger right on the hot glue. Okay, but anyway, don't be an idiot like me, but this is what you should have by now. By this point, the mask is pretty much done. We just need to essentially get the mask glued on and start folding it down. Now what you're gonna wanna do before you start gluing the mask down is we're gonna wanna cut the tops of the string off on both sides, but very carefully. It should be left with something like this. We're just going to basically glue this down to the inside and then go from there. By this point, you should have the mask completely glued in and these strings hanging downward like this. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take these e excess flaps and just fold them inward. Okay, but make sure you're paying attention to what you're doing.
And as you can see, guys, the mask is now completed. It does look a little messy, but over time, it will get better. And as you can see, now they look just the same. And now you have a badass mask to go with your scene or alternative outfit. And uh, I definitely hope you enjoy this as much as I did. So be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to check out my TikTok. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. I gotta go clean this up now. Ugh. God, this sucks. All right, peace.